Hey what's up folks, in this project we're resin casting keycaps for mechanical keyboards like the Adafruit macro pad. Resin casting keycaps is a really fun way to level up your keyboard making skills. We experimented with adding colored pigments, glitter, and even some components like resistors and googly eyes. You can make your own set of keycaps with these silicone molds and UV curable resin. To keep it simple, all you really need is the keycap molds, some UV resin, and a UV lamp for curing. We designed and 3D printed our own mini UV lamp a while back, which is just the right size for these silicone molds. Start by adding a small amount of resin to the bottom of the mold, which will become the very top surface of the keycap. Begin to spread the resin using a silicone pick to cover up the bottom of the mold. You want to poke around a bit to get rid of any air bubbles and make sure the resin has filled up the bottom. Before we can add more resin, you'll want to cure the bottom layer first so it's hardened. Use a tray with a flat surface to avoid the mold from sagging and let it sit for about 3 minutes. Once hardened, we can start to embed our components. Just be sure not to add too much stuff or things that are too big. After adding our fun bits, we can add more resin so they're fully submerged and covered up. A few more minutes of curing is needed to ensure each layer is getting hardened. Once again, we'll add more resin on top. This time we can start to add mica powder using a silicone spoon. You want to mix and stir it up nicely so the pigment blends into the resin. This also helps get rid of any air bubbles. Next, we'll need to add a dab of resin to the stem inside the second part of the mold. You'll want to allow the resin to seep down into the pocket and add more resin to fill it up. Once filled, you can then begin to place the second part of the mold on top of the first mold. Here you want to be very careful and precise with your placement so they're properly aligned. Notice some of the resin is overfilled and spilling out. It's a good sign that you have used enough resin and if it's not overfilling, you might not have enough. Back into the UV lamp, you want to give each side 5 minutes and turn it over to cure both sides. Once ready, we can begin to separate the molds and carefully pull out our keycap. Any excess resin or molding flash will need to be removed and can be trimmed away. We used our flush snips, just be sure to angle it down when cutting so the flash doesn't fly across the room. You'll find the surface is a bit tacky so you can use some alcohol to remove some of the stickiness. We have the keycap over a paper towel and a squirt bottle to make it easier to apply. You'll want to apply alcohol to all of the surfaces. And there you have it! Resin casted keycaps are really fun and definitely approachable. We hope this inspires you to try out resin casting and hope this helps you learn the techniques with some of our tips and tricks. So what ideas do you have for keycaps? You can let us know in the comments below and be sure to share your projects with us on Adafruit's weekly show and tell.